Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I'm back with a new palette that I got from ColourPop. It's one of the ones that's available over at um, over at Target. And so uh, what I thought I'd do is go ahead and go through my look for today and um, do a little bit of a comparison with that palette. So let's go ahead and get started. Did use Glow Oil uh, from Supergoop and it does have the SPF 50 in there. And I did use the House Labs as far as the foundation. And this one is the Fair Cool Shade 50. And then as far as the concealer today, LYS, and this is in Light Neutral 3. So that's that's the base products today. Um, as far as blush, I did go ahead. Well, actually, let's start with bronzer. Um, my favorite, the MAC, the Light Radiant Rosy. So that's what I have on there. And then I did go ahead and mix a couple of blushes today. I started with... Um, Let's see, this one is, uh, let's see, Empower. So this one is actually by LYS and it's called Empower. And it's one of their cream blushes. And then I did go ahead and mix that with the Trixie blush, the Sweetie. So um, yeah. And so mixing them together, I got a pretty rosy kind of color. And so, yeah, I think it turned out pretty well. I did go ahead and use a highlighter on there. And the Halo Glow Highlighter in Rose Quartz. <clears throat> so that's what I have on there. And then as far as what I did for the eyes today, well, actually, let's finish up with the other and then we'll go to the eyes. Um, I did go ahead and use the Revolution uh, Relove in the Long Length uh, Mascara. And then I mixed it with the Maybelline Sky High Mascara. And then as far as, I don't know why I didn't set all my stuff out today, but I didn't. Um, the eyebrows, I used the Oma by Sharon C. And this one's in taupe. And then I did get a new palette, like I said, from ColourPop. Um, I went ahead and purchased the Plum Palette over at Target. <clears throat> really pretty color story. It's what I have on my eyes today. Started with this as the crease color. Then I used this to blend out the crease color. So right under the brow. Uh, this on the inner corner. Uh, this again on the inner corner this on the lid, and then this one on the outer corner. And I did go ahead and use an Emerite um, eyeliner as well. The way that the look turned out was kind of like this. So it is a really dark look. And um, what I did was I put a Super Shock on top, right in the middle, and this one is the one in Ladybird. So this is um, the pop of yeah, the pop right in the middle um, is going to be Ladybird. And um, I wanted to go ahead and compare it to Mauvin um, because I was like, I didn't know which one to get. And I was a little bit, well, Mauvin Up isn't like the other uh, Mickey Mobs palette that they have. And so. I was a little bit shocked. Mauvin seems to be more of a nude rosy palette and um, I've seen mobs be really light to taupe and I've seen mobs be really really dark to purple and so I guess this palette really is pretty much a neutral palette and I didn't think it was and I wasn't going to get plum because I thought they're going to be so close that it's not going to be, you know, it's going to be a duplicate palette, and it isn't. So let me go ahead and show these to you. Yeah. And they don't really complement each other. They have different undertones, so I wouldn't really use them together. 
so uh, yeah, I guess what I'm saying is that there are definitely two different palettes with completely different looks, even though I sort of lump them in the same family. They really aren't. And so I didn't expect this one. Mauvin, when you put it next to Plum, looks really, really nude. So I wasn't expecting that at all. And I just thought I'd inform you in case maybe you're looking at both of them going, well, not sure which one I want. But if you want a nude palette, I would go ahead and get Mauvin up. If you want a purple, purple, a dark purple palette, I would go ahead and get Plum. And I think Plum will be great for the fall here and going into winter as well. And um, actually Mauvin well too, because you can, you know, this is, Mauvin is definitely your neutral look and plum is going to go purple. So um, I just thought I'd go ahead and explain it to you and tell you what I found out. As far as what else is going on, it's been a long time since I went ahead and changed my background and I did. And so um, <clears throat> all of these are from dollar store, so uh, definitely go and stock up. I thought it was really fun. I didn't do much last year. Kind of looks like my makeup style. Lots of glitter. <laughs> really pale and lots of glitter. Yeah. So anyway, um, I think they're really cute. And I'm glad I got them. And they're a little bit different for Halloween, Day of the Dead sort of thing. So um, I think I'll get a couple more to put up there. And um, definitely a fun eyeshadow palette, a really popping eyeshadow palette. Um, as far as the lips, what I did today, I think that's the only thing I didn't mention. Yes, I did get a new So Glassy. <coughs> Excuse me. So I did go ahead and get a new So Glassy from ColourPop. It's their lip gloss. And I put it together with the lavender color. And so that's what I got as far as uh, those two. And uh, this is what I have as far as the fall purple look. And I hope you're enjoying it. And uh, I'll see you later. Bye.